Hey, what's up, guys? It's Jaco, and welcome to part four. Yeah, part four, I think. Yeah, it's part four of um, Walking Dead 400 Days. Um, in the last part, we played as Wyatt, and uh, we bumped into Nate, I think his name was, from Russell's story. And uh, we drove off without his mate, Eddie, which I was kind of gutted about, because uh, they were pretty cool comedy act, both of them. <laughs> um, but, you know, I suppose you just got to go with it. Um, but we're going to go with Shell now. So let's do it. Two hundred and thirty six days in. Hey Shell, your sister's getting pretty good, huh? Becca had a good teacher, Steph. Thank you for doing that. She needs something to focus on besides, you know, everything else. Yeah. Growing up in a world like this, what do you think that does to a kid? God, hell if I know. Um I don't know. I don't know. I know yeah. it's changed me. Well, all of us, but at this age, for her, I don't know. Beck is a good kid. These are shit times, and she's gonna go through that. But if we can keep her from experiencing some of the shit I've seen... Thanks, Stephanie. Nice. Thanks. Becca, that was great. Thanks, sis. You think we can do something like this every week? As long as it doesn't distract us. As long as it doesn't distract from keeping this place safe. That's always the priority. That was amazing, Becca. We could all use a little more music in our lives. Did I ever tell you that I used to play in a band? Yes, Roman, you've told us. She doesn't want to hear about it again. <laughs> all right, all right. In that case, let's get back to work. Oh, and thanks to Boyd's hard work on the vegetable garden, we're having fresh soup tonight. Oh yeah. Okay, let's get to it. You want to help me and Shell do the supply inspection? Cool. You check the flashlights this time. I'll look over the guns. Um. Okay, but be careful. People's lives depend on those. We can't have them screwing up because we got lazy. Huh? Shell, when you get a sec, meet me out back. Help me feed the watchdogs. Sure thing. Alright. We got knives. Uh, Bloodstain. Did you ever find out what happened there? Oh. No. Roman said it was like this when he and Stephanie found the place. Could be anything these days, though. Still, oh. better not to think about it. It was that old woman. Oh, my. No, it was those old people. Like, bloody arsehole night killed them. Or Nate. Wow. Eesh, these knives are looking pretty ragged. Don't worry, they're on our list. Alright. Okay. Oh, wait, where am I going? Speak to these guys. How are we doing on ammo? Better than we thought. We haven't had to use these for a while. What did Roman want? I don't know yet. Are you gonna find out? Yeah, in a sec. Yeah, I was just checking up, you know. God, bloody hell. The diner looked pretty nice back then. That's because they used to pay people to clean it. Also, not as many dead visitors back then. <laughs> flashlights. Oh, still one short. We never found the other flashlight? Nope. Still in the cornfield somewhere, I guess. Huh. You guys need help? Nah, we got this. Right, Becca? 
You go ahead and help Roman out back. Okay. And he will... Looks weird in here without the paintings. Well, Boyd wanted something to paint his own pictures on. I guess it'll be a personal gallery in here when he's done. Okay. Alright. Let's quickly inspect that cash register, and then, um... We're off. Hey, Becca. Think we should start charging for the inspections we make? <laughs> oh, yeah. Then we can spend all our money at nowhere. <laughs> Alright. See what this guy wants. I can't remember his name. <laughs> we should do an inspection on these. Make sure they all work. Good idea. God, what I wouldn't give for a cup of coffee in the morning. Ooh, this soda. hasn't worked in a long time. Oh. Light. What we got at the light? Next time we venture out for supplies, I gotta remember to look for light bulbs too. Okay. Sink. Glad we thought to bottle our water before it ran out. All right. I like to look at everything and explore everything because you know stuff like that in the smells good. Stuff like that in this game matters for some reason. <laughs> You know, you don't want to miss anything, because then that could come in handy at some point in the game. Even if it is, like, the littlest thing. Alright, what have we got in here? The shelves. Oh, starting to thin out in here. Thank God we have a garden now. Alright, how do we can goods? Don't miss going on raids for this stuff. That's pretty impressive that you somehow managed to make a kind of garden. In a situation like this. Oh Jesus. Oh, you scared me. Oh. He's hungry. Guess he knows it's feeding time. What the hell? Why are you I feel bad for it. Yeah, well, at least we found a way for him to be useful. You know, uh your sister said she wouldn't mind doing this. Roman, we've talked about this. Becca doesn't need to deal with this kind of thing. Listen, I know you think that giving her an easy life is what's best, but it's really not. Why are we keeping zombies hostages? What's that about? This is far from an easy life, Roman. You know what I mean. She needs to know the sacrifices we have to make to survive in this world. As long as she knows how to protect herself, it's fine. I don't want her to stop caring about people. Okay. What's that one eating? I don't know. I'll check it out. I gotta get back out front. Looking forward to that soup. Great boy! Are we keeping walkers? Oh god. That was a bit of a... dark thing to do. I don't really know why I did that. Why are we keeping walkers? What's going on here? Oh, God. What is it? God. What is it? I didn't say. <gasps> what is it? Ugh. I have no idea what the hell that is. Some kind of cat or something, I, I don't know. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Go. <laughs> oh, Jesus, don't ever fucking do that again! Oh my Whoa! God. What's your problem? I do this all the time. You don't get all pissed off. You just... you can't go jumping out at people. Not anymore. It's not safe. But... Yeah. What if I had a weapon? I could have thought you were a walker. What are you talking about? I... look, I... I just saw our walkers out back eating a, a puppy. Oh, it was a puppy. A puppy? Yeah. I guess it just got to me. You know, it was... 
I was so little. You don't think about babies anymore, but after a while, you just kind of accept this is it. Yeah. I guess you kind of forget. <laughs> right? But then, you know, there it is. You see it, and you want to protect it, and... And now it's gone. That sucks. Maybe if Clive dies next, we can put him out there instead. He'd make a better watchdog anyway. Becca. Shell, Becca! Something's going on outside! Oh, God. What is it? I don't know, something bad. We gotta find Roman. Come on, growing up, Clementine. <laughs> That's what she looks like. She looks like a grown up version of Clementine. Ah, oh, how I miss Clementine. What the hell's going on? Come here, everyone. What? Shh. Come on, we gotta find Roman. This month. Oh god, what the hell? Jesus. Largum. My god, Largum. what did you do? All I did was put on the blindfold and bind his wrists. Somebody else beat him up. He already had the cuts and bruises. Watchdogs caught him trying to steal supplies. Is he bitten? No, they didn't get that close. What do you take? Who is he? Did he hurt anyone? Who is he? I got no idea. I don't think he speaks English. Oh, I can't believe he just snuck it's in. The second break-in we've had in the last couple of weeks. Oh man! Last time we couldn't catch him. And they got away with more medicine than we could afford to lose. Great. Well, we all know what it's like trying to survive out there. He just came in here for food. Let's just give him some and send him on but his what way. What if there are more of them? He could have been scouting. Oh. That's right. He could be part of a larger group. If there were more, I think we would have seen them by now. I mean, nobody travels alone by choice anymore, right? We can't take the risk of letting him go, but why not let him stay? I guess that would be okay. We could always use more hands so. keeping the place secure. Boy, we don't need any more people here. And look at him. How is he He gonna can't help? even speak English. This group works because we know how to communicate. Oh my god, uh, we can find a way to help, maybe you're right. We can find a way for him to help. <sighs> Well, he's not staying here. You let in a stranger, and everything starts breaking down. The last time we did that, we lost Bree. And then Vernon with that goddamn boat. Vernon and the boat are the reason the group fell apart. Oh. Not trusting strangers. He made us beat up that guy with a mustache and steal his boat. We oh, did my. That. I've regretted it ever oh since. Oh, my God. I had a feeling That's it was these guys. When our group fell apart. Oh. We can't stay here. Oh. I agree. Keeping him here is not an option. In his condition, he'd be a drain on our resources. Look, we all know what we're talking about here, so let's stop dancing around it. What are you we doing? Let this guy go and take our chances. Or we kill him. Let him go! You serious? Jesus Christ! Are you serious? Roman's right. It's gotta be one or the other. Oh my god. Well, we're letting him go. It's the only right thing to do. I'm yeah. telling you, we can't do that. Why? Killing him? Is that really the answer? <laughs> Stephanie, Boyd, you two don't think we should kill him. We know where Joyce and Clive stand on the subject. You're the swing vote here, Shell. What's it gonna be? Uh, we're gonna let him go. There's no way we're gonna kill him for something we don't even know what he's done. We have to set him free. God, I hope I'm right. We can't. He's not even armed. We can't just kill him. This isn't in self-defense. Isn't it, though? If it means he can't come back to hurt us? That isn't the same thing. But last time... Joyce, that was a long time ago. If we kill this man, then we're giving up a part of ourselves that we can never get back. I'm not ready to let that go. Alright. It's decided. We're letting it go. Free. I hope you guys know what you're doing. Oh, Hopefully. We got some food. When, three or four cans. Just as a gesture of good faith. And get him out of here. I don't know if you can understand a word I'm saying. But you better understand this. You came this close to death today. And if you ever 
ever come near this place again or tell anybody where we are, you wish you had died today. Oh. Well, hopefully I did the right choice. Hopefully. 259 days in. Do you have any fours? Nope. Oh. Do you have any sevens? Two seven. Yep. I miss playing guitar for everyone. I mean, it was stupid, but fun. Why don't we do that anymore? Since the attack, there's a lot we don't do anymore. I shouldn't have let that guy go. Boyd would still be alive and everything would be the same. Boyd agreed it was the right thing to do. Anyway, Roman's obsessed with keeping this place secured now. You know that's impossible, right? Well, after last time, Roman isn't taking any chances. And I should fix the loose board behind the storage lots. Becca, are you sneaking out again? Oh, God, do you know how dangerous that is? It's not dangerous. There's what? nothing out there but slow-ass walkers. What are you talking about? We've had two break-ins already. Anyone could be out there. What if someone sees you and, and follows you back here? They a bit, won't. A bit of a daft Damn idea. It, Shell, I need to talk to you. It's open. God, don't sneak out on your own. What's That's going on? Stupid. Hey, Becca. Hey. When you uh, get a sec, I need you to come out and talk to me. It's important. Okay. Okay. I'll be outside. You'll see me. All right. Um. Give, give us, us a minute. minute. Yeah. Just don't take too long. Okay. What was that all about? I have no idea. I don't know. Probably not good, though. Stay here. It'll be just a minute. I'll fill you in when I get back. Wow, it's actually gone back to episode 4, I think it was, episode 4 of this, when, uh, Ver what was his name, Ver Vermin, I think, when he, uh, he beats up Kenny to get the boat, and, uh, wow. How come no one's watering these? I do hope Kenny's alive, because you don't actually see Kenny die. Like, everyone just presumes he's dead, but you don't actually see where, it, like, where he goes. Like, because I know there's, like, two different endings, because he goes down in an alleyway. Yet again, you don't see what happens to him in the alley. And then the other one's that he falls down in the building, and yet again, you don't see what happens to him. So, maybe he might make an appearance in, a uh, Series 2 of the games. That could be a big, massive shock. But, um, I don't know, he might be dead, I'm... Hopefully he's not. I mean, we already Joyce, lost Lee. Joyce, do you know what's going on? I don't know if I should say anything. Please, what is it? What is they it? They caught Stephanie stealing, and then trying to escape. Oh my what? God. What are they gonna do? I don't know. What can we do? I'll go talk to Roman. We'll figure it out. Oh, for God's sake, Stephanie. God, why would you have to be a bitch and start stealing stuff? Is this really necessary? What's in? Oh, it's her. She's locked in there. <laughs> Roman. Good, you're here. I heard about Stephanie. I'm sorry. What are you gonna do? Yeah. You know what we do. What? What happened? We caught her trying to escape. Well, so what, Roman? Ever since the incident, this hasn't been an easy place to live in. If she doesn't want to stay, let her take her chances out there. Yeah, well, that's what a, I was thinking. She had most of our seeds, medicine, and ammo with her. And oh. B, you know we can't let anyone leave who knows where we are. She screwed us, Shell. All of us. And now we're in that position again where we can't keep her here and we can't let her go. 
You do know why I'm telling you this, right? Yes. Yeah, I do. Yeah. You want me to take care of it. You and Boyd were the ones who fought to let that guy go. Convinced us all to take that chance. But we did. And it was wrong. And now Boyd is dead. We're beyond the luxury Don't of taking it. chances now. And I need to know that you're with us a hundred percent. Let's talk, to, Let's her talk to her first. See if we can talk some sense into her. No. What? She tried to God sneak out sake. and leave us without any medicine or extra ammo. She knew that could mean the death of any one of us. If we give her a second okay. chance, she might not try to leave so quietly. You got your gun? Uh, it's in the camper. I'll give you a few minutes to get your head together. God, what do I tell Becca? That's up to you. Whatever you say, I'll back you up. God damn it. Shell? What's wrong? Am I in trouble? No. It's nothing you have to worry about. It's going to be hard for you. Yeah. What I'm going to say is going to be hard to hear. What is it? It's Stephanie. She stole a bunch of ammo and medicine and tried to escape. Oh my god. What the hell did she do that for? Roman says we have to... Kill her? Yeah. Why would she do this to us? Alright, Becca. God, you didn't need to be... Doesn't matter. She did what she did. Stupid. Roman wants me to do it. I'm sorry. Uh, let's just get it over with. Your gun's over there. In the drawer. Alright, Becca. God, you didn't need to be so... Like, so forward okay. with it. Do you want to talk about it? No, I don't. Just want to get it over with. Okay, well... Keys. Oh. Uh. <sighs> I suppose so. She tried to really stick us in the shit right there. She stole absolutely everything. I don't want everything. this to be who we are. Just let me do it then. No. No, I'll do it. You shouldn't ever have to do something like this. I just need a second. This really sucks. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. <laughs> I wrote the script. <laughs> you know, we don't have to do this. We can just go. Go away. What? We've survived on our own before. If we just go, we can be out of here before anyone can do anything about it. Are you crazy? Where what? would we go? There's nothing out there. As long as we're here, we're safe. The group will protect us. But for how long? I don't know, longer than we'd survive out there. Besides, you know the rules. If we try to leave, Roman will hunt us down. We don't have a choice. This is who we are now. Shell, it's time. God damn it. Oh, it's time to make a choice. Make a runner. Or tell <laughs> oh, no. Drive away. You know what? I'm gonna listen to Becca with this one. I don't ever want to put you in danger. Yeah. If that means this is what we have to become, then it is what it is. Don't say I don't ever do anything for you, bitch. Sorry. Me too. Huh.
So that's the end of Shell. So, wow. So I have to kill like my best mate because, well, I don't really feel guilty about it because she really tried to put us in the shit there. Like literally, he said that she stole like pretty much everything and tried to get away. Like she, wow. So, yeah, you know. She deserved it, really. I mean, she would have killed all of us if we didn't do if we didn't catch her. But anyway, that was um, part four of the Walking Dead 400 Days um, show story. Next, we're going on to Bonnie, which I have no idea who's like what it is about. So I'll be looking forward to this. Um, but I'll see you in the next part of the Walking Dead 400 Days. So like and favorite if you enjoyed. Subscribe to Toss That Salad, and. Um, I'll see you next time, so see you later, guys.